Mm. Just like I remembered it, my neighbor doesn't disappoint me. I love it. The pizza show is back. In this season, there's going to be even more pizza. This is the epitome of the pizza show. <laughs> we're going out to the West Coast. Cheers to you, chef. So we're going to go to Philadelphia. The Philly taco. <laughs> wow, not bad. I'm going to bring you back to Brooklyn, show you a little day in my life. From there, we're going to go to Detroit. We're going to go to Napoli, Sicily, Rome. This yeah. is so good, man. Great. It doesn't end. First, we're going to go out to Las Vegas to the biggest pizza convention in the world. If you thought you loved pizza, just wait. I'm in Las Vegas at the International Pizza Expo, the largest pizza trade show in the world. With over 7,000 attendees and over 500 exhibitors, this is the single most important destination for any major player in the pizza industry. Pizza everywhere. Whether you run a small independent pizzeria, a big chain, or you're just a pizza enthusiast, you need to be in Las Vegas for what many people refer to as a Super Bowl of pizza. I would say it's a Super Bowl of pizza. Yeah, Super Bowl. Or the big game of pizza. <laughs> pizza Expo is everybody's opportunity to get their pizza freak out. Not only is this my first time at Expo as a pizzeria owner, I've also been asked to give a speech on how independent pizzerias can compete with the big chains. But before I take the stage, I'm looking forward to checking out all that this pizza trade show has to offer. Phil Oakley is the show director. He's going to give me a tour of Pizza Expo. I'm going to visit my tomato supplier, Stanislaus, the kings of Napoli pizza ovens, Stefano Ferrara, and hang with Mark, one of my best friends in the pizza business. What do you think about this? It's crazy, man. It's craziness. But this show isn't all about business. It's also home to the World Pizza Games, where you can watch the best dough acrobats in the country do their thing. I'm going to meet up with pizza legend Tony Gemignani to learn more about the competition. I love it. And you know, when it comes to Pizza Expo, when you step into it, it's just going into an arena. It's like the gladiators. I mean, it's crazy. I refer to the Pizza Expo for me as it's like the second Christmas. Because I really get to see all of these people that I love. And, and we come here, we get revived, and, and we go out and conquer the world again. Well, you can find a little bit of everything at Expo. There's one thing that unifies it all, pizza. Here we are at the Pizza Convention. There are so many pizzas everywhere you look. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Enjoy your pizza. The first three letters you like. The first three letters. Is this it? Am I good? Oh, that's what I wanted. I wanted the neck, you know, the necklace. The lanyard. The lanyard. That's... You gotta have the lanyard. Sure. <laughs> Thank you very much, I'm excited. We're at the expo, the doors open at 10 o'clock sharp. People started flooding in, the Italian music on cue. It's, a, it's like pizza heaven, it's pizza heaven. Pizza Expo has officially begun. Hey, hello, Bill. Frank. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Great to How see are you. you? Welcome to Pizza you. Expo. Are you excited? Yeah, I sure am. I'm sure you're a busy man these days. It's been pretty hectic here, I'll say that. Dynamic, I call it. And I expect this year that we'll have records for exhibitors. We'll have a record number of attendees. It's just uh, you know, an unbelievable huge show. When you come into the show floor, start on one side, go by every single booth. If there's something you haven't seen, something you're interested in, go talk to them. We have pizza bags over here. My guys would be going crazy right now. POS, you know. Yep. Point almost of sale everybody systems. anymore. That's you know that's where things go. You know, obviously you keep track of your customers. You keep track of your tickets. Yep. I mean, you because you're playing kind of games here, just kind of watching everybody, Absolutely. staying in touch with them, touching them. Yeah, there's, there's Tony right now. He's doing his uh, pizza making class right now. Beautiful. Stretch, turn, stretch, turn. So a lot of people, when they stretch, they're doing a perfect job here, but they're actually destroying their crust here. Tony started like the rock star of the show, I see. Yeah, you know, from the, from the pizza making to the, to the uh, acrobatics, and, yeah, yeah. and that's another thing back here today. We'll have the World Pizza Games going on here, and, you know, the freestyle division is just, you know, off, off the chain. So right now, we're going to head down to what we call our Gold Coast, and we've got uh, three of them. Gold Coast. And so from here, you can pretty much see from 
one side of the show all the way down to the other. Wow. And at the far end down there, we've got our International Pizza Challenge area where okay. we have the competitions going for traditional and non-traditional. Okay. Down here, we've got our World Pizza Games. Up in the front right corner, we've got our demonstration area. And in the front left corner, we've got another International Pizza Challenge. There'll be the Napoletan contest will be taking place up there, and I, and I suggest you take that, take that in. Are the Italians in town? You better believe it. hundred <laughs> percent. Oh, yeah. I would say right now there's more Italians in Las Vegas right now than any other time during the year. No kidding. They come in to attend and buy. They're also here to exhibit. If you're making traditional Napoli-style pizza, there's one oven maker that reigns supreme, Stefano Ferrara truly the Ferrari of Napoli-style pizza ovens. The Ferrara family are third-generation oven builders, and today the company is run by Stefano Ferrara and his son, Simone Ferrara. So how many years have you guys been coming here to the uh, Pizza Expo? It's six years. Six years? Six, since the first edition of the, of the show. The Stefano Ferrara ovens in Brooklyn are legendary. If you open up a Napoli-style pizzeria, this is the oven that you have to have. Yeah. How did you guys rise to this level? Perché noi facciamo un prodotto tipico napoletano. Sì. Questo è, è, è un classico forno napoletano che si faceva nei tempi antichi, diciamo. Sì. Io sono la terza generazione di costruttori di forni. Mio nonno già li faceva così. Oh. E questo è il forno proprio classico napoletano. So ora è in tutto il mondo quanto forni Stefano Ferrara. Eh, non li abbiamo contati, ma sicuramente ci daranno tanti. Eh, Fagli, yeah. questo era mio padre, oh, il primo forno che è stato fatto in Giappone. Questo Great, è il modello classico style. che si faceva prima. This is how the classical oven looks like. Che si fa proprio nella pizzeria e non si può muovere. Si può muovere, never yeah. move. It. Exactly. Never move it. Fa parte della storia di Napoli, la pizza, uh, la storia di Napoli parte anche dalla pizza. Napoli è la storia di pizza. Eh, yeah. La storia di pizza è la storia di Napoli. Napoli è pizza, yeah. è la storia. Era una cosa lo stesso. Sì. What does the company mean to you, you know, being the son? Let's say it's a hard job to, you know, to follow my, the steps of, uh, of my father, of you know? Uh, I have a lot of things to learn and every day I knew this much more and more. Well, I can tell you're doing a great job. You're representing your family in an amazing way. A pleasure to meet you. Talk to you. My favorite box out here that is displayed, I'd say probably this box right here. Uh, I'm not sure that anybody could actually have an oven big enough to put the, a pizza or make a pizza for this size box, but this is kind of a showpiece just to have a little fun. Been around since 1994, been at every single Pizza Expo since 94. We keep getting bigger and better. We do a full line of fully cooked chicken wings, chicken bites. We've launched some new sauces to complement those products. We always try to make a great impression, so we a lot of food to a lot of people. We give out a tremendous amount of samples, so we're really highlighting our sauces as well as the poultry. Poultry is nice and warm. We love to get our product into customers' mouths. What's a pizza pants all about? Pizza clothing. Pizza clothing. Yeah. Look at this guy. Who's fresher than you? Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> wow. I'm yeah. the pizza don. That's true. Nice to meet you, nice sir. Nice to meet you. What is this for? It's like perforating? It's crazy. The nice thing about Pizza Expo is that you always run into a few friends in the showroom floor. Good, good guys. That fresh off, fresh off the plane. Yep. From Italy to Vegas. Right, what do you call this? Como se llama? Montanara. A Montanara, fritta. It's like a Zeppelin. Yeah, it looks like a Zeppelin. Bellissimo. Carmelina San Marzano tomato. You can actually see we've got a beautiful photo bravo oven custom done in their booth. What is this? This is a marinara pizza. This doesn't have cheese on it. Said marinara pizza? What do you say? Marana. Marana. These guys are pretty, have pretty good ovens from what I hear. Forza Forne. I love the way that sounds. I see the uh, Forza Forne. Yeah. Mr. Castro. Hey. 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 How are you? How's everything? Good to see you. Is it all wood? You cooking with the wood? No, this is electric. It's electric? The electric is uh, more uh, flexible. You, every kitchen can have an electric oven. Yeah. yeah. After walking the show floor, it was nice to take a break at my tomato supplier, Stanislaus. Stanislaus is a family-owned cannery in Northern California that specializes in fresh-packing, real Italian tomatoes. 
Hands down, they have the best booth at the expo. Oh yeah, this feels good. I'm ready. Cheese tortellini with al dente pasta sauce. Perfect. My favorite, well my favorite tomatoes. Oh, look at that, grazia. A little bit of everything, huh? Mm -hmm. So I've been kind of making my way through the show, all these different booths, but it's kind of crazy out there. Coming here to Stanislaus, like being able to go through the hotline and kind of chill out, have a little bit of food, some olive oil, some awesome tomatoes. It's a nice booth to come and relax and chill, get away from the madness. What does it mean for you guys to be here like this at the pizza convention and be such a big stand? We have a philosophy and we're not, we don't come here to sell. Right. We come here to, you know, meet old friends, meet new friends, you know, uh, build new relationships. It's kind of cool that, you know, you have all these independent pizzerias all across the country and that, you know, they're still, you know, they're like us. If the little guy succeeds, then we succeed because we're in it together. The minute you step into Expo, there's one face you see everywhere. The softer you are on your pizza, the more light and airy your pizza will be. Tony Gemignani, 12-time world pizza champion, pizzeria owner, pizzaiolo, and author. He's a true celebrity at the show. Tony is the chef owner of over 15 restaurants and pizzerias across the Bay Area and Las Vegas. I'm heading to Pizza Rock, his pizzeria that has nine different pizza ovens and is known for its variety of styles. And is Pizza Rock sort of your baby? Pizza Rock's, yeah, a new baby. We have three of them, you know. It's, it's like Tony's Pizza in San Francisco on steroids. It's, it's, you know, vaulted ceiling. There's a truck coming through. We have nine ovens with 11 different types of pizzas. So depending Damn. on the oven that you're cooking in is the type of flour that we use. Right. Yeah, it's a kind of a, a pizza playground. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Like a, it's like a wet dream for a pizza man. It sounds like you it, know? man. I'm all about pizza, man. I have respect the craft on my hands. I live it. It's on my boxes. Yeah. I mean, I live, eat, and breathe pizza. So this is sort of like the old trip of Vegas where yeah. we are right Yeah, now, right? old school. Nobody would touch it. I mean, I came from San Francisco. Chefs would be all, no, don't go to old Vegas. Go to the strip. I'm going to prove that I can make it downtown yeah. where nobody would go, and I'll blow it out of the kitchen. I feel like you're the first pizza celebrity. <laughs> I don't know about that, man. Yeah, man. Like, you were all over the place. You started with the pizza championships. Tell me more about that. What yes, is that? That really started in the 80s. Uh, pizza Expo, Pizza Today, they always ran the competitions. It was the Pizza Olympics, the Pizza Olympics, and World <laughs> Pizza Games. And, you know, that went on. I, I, early in my career, I competed. I won a, a number of different world titles. And in 1998, it ended. So Italy was going on. I was still this guy from the U.S. that was competing. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go to Italy. And we called it the Dream Team. And I ended up winning twice. And I was banned from competing in Italy. I was a five-time world pizza champion. I um, mean, watching it is like, it's fun. It's really fun to watch these guys toss these yeah. doughs. Watch awesome. when they go in competition. They may be in an outfit, They'll, it, gets, it gets serious. It gets serious. It's a choreographed routine, three yeah. minutes, you gotta hit tricks, you gotta do two at a time, three yeah. at a time. You're kind of doing multiple like aerials and stuff. And if you don't land them, you know, your dough can misshape. It's like, it's not, you're not doing a Frisbee, you're not juggling a ball. Right. That This thing manipulates, it right. gets bigger, it gets softer. It's what you hear, too, as you're throwing. If you're listening to the dough, you'll hear it pass. That's when you grab things. So, so uh, it's everything. It's all the senses. It's fast, it's yeah. There's the a senses. lot of different, and you know, you'll see tricks that they don't look hard. It's yeah. the hardest ones, usually. So I have a team called the World Pizza Champions, and different members come in to compete. Gotcha. So we have one particular member, Justin Wadstein. He's an ex-champion acrobat. He won back in the day, and he's coming back in the Masters division to see if he could beat the Masters. Korea, Japan, another American, and he'll go against the kid who wins it. You know, will Justin have a chance? He may. Yeah. He might. When he gets to that level, yeah. it's just they're, they're really good. I'm telling you, it, it's like they're that good. I went to Justin's hotel room to see him practice for tomorrow's Ooh. big competition. Damn. Oh, shit. So tomorrow, I have a big show. It's the Masters of Division Acrobatic, which is basically this match to music. But yeah, you'll see the best of the best doing dough tricks just like this. Right. And hopefully, I can bring home a win. We'll see. This dough has been sitting out for a while. This is just for practice, so it's really a lot softer than what I'm going to use tomorrow night. It'll be hard as a rock to the point where I can't stretch the dough without a rolling pin. So these are a couple Ow. of my tricks. 
Oh, man. Like I said, this dough isn't nearly as good as what. So I'm going to try one that I might try tomorrow, depending on how I'm feeling. Yeah. Uh, one more oh, time. I, I think I saw what you were going for. Nah. So you come up with these routines yourself? Yeah, yeah. And is there like a routine that you've done in the past that like has won you a lot or is your favorite? So I have a few. One would be last year here in Vegas, I did a hangover routine, the movie Hangover. So I had basically <laughs> my own daughter on my chest, like little Carlos. <laughs> wow, what? So in the beginning of the show, I brought her out and spun. So you get pretty creative with the yeah, stuff. Yeah, definitely take it to the next level. Would you ever expected that you'd be able to like travel the world, just kind of spinning pizzas? And Not in a million years. I did say, I did used to say when I was in high school that I was going to be a famous pizza maker. Awesome. But man. I never would have thought it would actually come true. So who would you say is your biggest competition tomorrow? Any of the Korean guys are really, really hard. They're bringing new material, they're very acrobatic, which I'm not really, I do the dough tricks well, but they bring a different level to everything. Well, we went out to Korea and we visited the team at Mr. Pizza and we got to see them sort of practicing downstairs and just watching you here, man, I think you got a shot. Yeah, we'll see. Justin is competing in two categories of the World Pizza Games this year the pizza triathlon, and the master's division of freestyle acrobatic dough tossing. In the morning, Justin took home the first place in the triathlon. But tonight, he'll be competing in the biggest competition of all. So we're in room N250. This is the World Pizza Game Championship. So they're setting up the food. You can see people flipping pizzas in the back, sort of practicing. So it's a calm before the storm. In a few minutes, people are gonna be pouring in the doors. And I'm really excited, actually, to be sitting in the front row to see this stuff. Good morning, how's everybody doing? All right, that doesn't work for me. How's everybody doing? Thank you. All right, it's a party, everybody, come on. This year is really gonna be fun because we've got six finalists in the competition. Six previous who are master ac acrobatic champions. They're gonna be coming in and they're gonna be competing for the ultimate rights of, of master acrobat champions. Judges are looking for form. They're looking for creativity. They're looking for the synchronization of the music and the moves that these kids are making. I really like to get the crowd involved because, you know, the judges listen to the crowd. So that has a factor on these, these uh, competitors as well. Do they do the same trick over and over and over? Or are they coming up with new tricks? You know, so all that comes together. It's nothing like you've seen ever before. Think of a Harlem group totter with pizza dough to music. Next up, from the Masters Division, ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for Justin Watson and Pizza from Heart.
What's up, dude? I was right in the front row cheering you on. I knew you would do it. That's What'd you awesome. Think? After cheering on Justin as an audience member, it was my time to take the stage. The second goal for the speech is to attack this question. What does every independent chain um, know about a change? And the truth is, <laughs> I'm about to go give my speech. It's my first time sort of publicly speaking in front of um, this many people. I'm a little nervous, but it's my people. This is pizza. You know, I worked on it pretty hard, and I'm excited to kind of go out there and, you know, just talk about what I do. 254. Oh, some people here already. My name is Frank Pinello. I'm the owner and operator of Best Pizza in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. So, the big question is what should every independent know about the big chains? And my answer is there's nothing that you need to know about the big chains. The big chains are basically competing with themselves, they're not competing with us. We all know that food quality is important, but that personality behind the pizzeria is something that the big chains don't even think about. I try to do the little things in the community that my grandfather used to do at my house. And I try to treat the pizzeria just as though it is my home. You don't have to be scared to charge. All you have to do is use the best ingredients. So when people come up to you and say, why is this slice 50 cents more than the next, you could turn around and hand them the pizza mozzarella and say, this is why. It's, it's a lot of work, but please don't forget, keep your eye on the prize. Keep your eye on the quality. And as time goes on, the big chains, they won't even matter anymore. So I just got done with my speech. I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. It's insane to be at a place where everything is focused on pizza. Everyone is trying to make the industry better in their own way. I really felt like I left here as a better pizza man. Looks like things are wrapping up here too, so I guess that's how cute to go. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. <laughs>